So we're here this morning at Mick Appleby's Racing Yard uh, near Oakham in Rutland in Leicestershire. And we've got Lizzie here with us. Lizzie, tell me, how old are you and where are you from? Um, I'm 18 and I'm from Derbyshire, Lankworth. Okay, from Derbyshire. So you're not too far from home then here. No, it's so, about an hour and a half. Yeah. And how long have you worked here for, Lizzie? Um, about two months. Two months. So this was your work placement after you graduated from the foundation course yeah. at the National Horses College. So you've had six weeks of a work placement and the last two weeks you've been taken on uh, full time as a permanent member of the racing staff team. Yeah. OK, so, so tell me about your background, Lizzie. Before you came to the National Horse Racing College, what horse experience did you have? Um, well, our family's always been horsey. Like, it's just been a normal thing in our family. Um, and I just started off doing the pony club, um, like small show jumping, like eventing, all of that. Um, and I just got stuck in like a career path where I didn't know what to do. And I just found racing and I've fallen in love with it, really. OK, and you did have a little bit of racing experience yeah. before you came to the college. You went to work for your local trainer, didn't you, John yeah. Mackey? Um, and now, obviously, I see you here at McAppley Racing. So, big yard here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger from what I'm used to, but you soon get used to it, like... I know where all the horses are now, and like... Oh, well done. But, yeah, I'm loving it. Because <laughs> there's a lot of horses here. Yeah. There's, you know, obviously predominantly flat horses, aren't there? So a lot of babies, including this uh, little lady here that uh, you were telling me off camera. Tell me what you've done with her. Um, so I took her up the gallops for her first time. Um, she's come back into work. She's been in work for about a month now, because um, she just... Um, had time off, had a little holiday, um, and she, I took her up her first time okay. the gallops, and she was very good, uh, a bit wiggly. Yeah, as all yeah. babies are. <laughs> yeah, she was very good. <laughs> and tell me what else you've done in the, the eight weeks you've been here. You've led two horses into, what, second and third? Yeah, I've done a second and a third. Um, my, first, my first time on He's on holiday at the minute, <laughs> um, just having some time off. But he was my second, uh, he came second, and then I had Martin, he came third, he was very good. Yeah, so it's just going to like, say the winners are with a second and a third is, is brilliant, and you'll have that winner soon, won't you? I'm quite sure. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, what else have you won whilst you've been here? Um, not you won a best turned out, didn't uh, you? Yeah, I did a best turned out. Uh, that was on Paddy as well. Yeah. Um, for my first time. Uh, I'm going racing tomorrow, so hopefully you'll have a winner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That that uh, that first winner that you're going to lead <laughs> yeah. up. First of many, I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, Lizzie, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for sharing that experience with us. Um, it's obviously the end of morning stables. Yeah. The horses are all wanting their, uh, their lunch and the farriers <laughs> knocking away shoes behind us. So it's been a bit noisy, but thank you for sharing that. Okay. All the very best of luck tomorrow. Hopefully you have that winner. We'll keep mm -hmm. an eye out for you and we'll come and see you again very soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>